हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज सुप्रिया मोरे एंड आई एम अ सिस्टम प्रोफेसर एट एएसएसएमएस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर डिक्लेरेशन इन सी लैंग्वेज सो द स्ट्रक्चर इज अ कलेक्टिव ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स वेरिएबल्स ग्रुप टुगेदर अंडर द सिंगल नेम इट इज टू द हेट्रोजीनियस कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा आइटम एंड इट द शेयर द कॉमन नेम सो देर हैविंग द मल्टीपल फीचर्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज अ पॉसिबल कॉफी ऑफ कंटेंट ऑफ ऑल स्ट्रक्चर इज एलिमेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड देन अनदर स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल इज टाइप बाई यूजिंग द असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर it is possible to pass the entire structure into individual elements of structure and the address of structure to the function so also the structure it is possible to create the structure and pointer so to handle the complex data type it is possible to create a structure within another structure which is called as a nested structure so it is possible the content of all structure element different data type to another structure available by using the assignment operator so the structure is all different type of data type variable and this group are together in a single name so we can see the example then we can easily understand what is the basic or main concept of structure so this is a general form of structure this is data type member 1 structure tag name data type member 2 data type member n so struct is the keyword tag name is specify the name of structure member 1 member 2 specify the data item the makeup structure so structure is a keywords tag name is a specify the name of the structure then member 1 member 2 is a data items that is a makeup structure so this is a simple form of structure declaration next in there having the multiple structure variable the three ways we can define that the first one type 1 so suppose it is a structure book then having the integer pages character author float price etc items we can define second type struct integer pages character author float price and declare the variable type 3 structure book integer pages character author float price struct book all so these are the multiple type 1 type 2 type 3 are the ways of declaring structure variable as the following next one is the at a times during the programming there need to store the multiple logically related element under the one roof so for instance is employees details like name employee number designation need to be stored together in such cases c language provide structure to the job for us this is taken the example of employee suppose we want to take a example of customer then customer client customer number customer id customer mobile number and then suppose we take a example of student then student number student name and student id student roll number student prn number are the defined so these are the number of example where we can take the defining or declaration of structure the next one why do we use the structure in a c the structure in a c programming is very helpful of the where we need to store similar type of multiple entities so they understand suppose you need to manage a record of books in a library so now a book can be have the properties like book name author name generation then so for any book you need to three variables to store it the records now there are two ways to achieve this goal the first and uh, naive one is to create the separate variable of the each book then creating the so many variable and assigning value to each day of them in practical so what would be the optimized and ideal approach here comes the structure in this picture so we can define the structure where we can declare the data members to different data types according to our needs in this case a structure name book can be created having the three members book name author name and generation so multiple variable of the types book can be created such a book 1 book 2 book n so each will have own copy of three members book name author name and the generation so when the structure variable are declared in the main function the keyword structure followed the structure name has to specify of the variables so in this above example store a store b at the variable structure book store next let us see how to initialize member in a structure c in a program so this is the initialization structure of program cannot be initialized like other variable inside the structure definition this is because when a structure is defined no memory allocated the structure is a memory point so this is following code structure rectangle structure definition integer length is equal to 10 and breadth is equal to 6 so this is a compile error because cannot initialize members here so this is the example or it is a compilation error so how to define a particular variable and uh, uh, 
to the structure variable so given the example of compilation will be thrown that so integer length is taken integer breadth is taken here is taken length and breadth just directly members are the presented but length and breadth is not defined here not initialized here so here take the example there definition that initialization of integer length and integer breadth then main function rectangle and structure variable are the define their size with length and breadth so this is a good example of a structure if it is not initialization members then it is having the compilation error so this example is structure available my reset modifying the data member structure which is separately available of copy and the length and the breadth are the available so what is the difference between structure and union structure is a keyword use structure keyword union is used structure size is greater than or equal to sum of size of members and union is equal to size of largest number structure memory having the structure of unique storage and the locations and next one memory allocated in share by individual members of a union then value alternating of member will not afford with the members of the structure union in the value of the other member variable accessing members individual members can be accessed at a time or access to only one member so initialization of members several members of structure can be initialized at once but union only the first member of union can be initialized so that is the main difference between the structure and the union so here given the example structure struct character x float y object so size one byte because character having one byte float four byte because four byte are the size of float in a union character s and float y object s is the same size but what is the main difference to initialize or declare the structure and union are the different s their structure object are the different under the one single group and the union having the memory sharing allocation storage equal to the largest one so that is the main difference between the structure and the union so thank you i hope you like this video thank you thank you very much